I have a very important question for all of you before we start this. How many times a day or how often do you think about the Roman Empire now? If you are a man, I am sure you have been asked this question already. If you are a girl, I am sure you have seen the TikTok and the Instagram reels and the tweets that you have been asking your boyfriends, your husbands, your brothers, and your fathers. This question is a very important question to our society right now. The fate of the world is at stake, but I do want you to leave your responses in the comments below because I'm just interested to see what you guys say. If you have not seen this trend and you are wondering why in the world everyone asking this stupid question, well, we are about to uncover some really weird and crazy facts about the emperors in the Roman Empire. Emperor Elagabalus was put in power by his mom at the age of 14 and was, by all accounts, plain crazy. His imperial duties included searching for guys with big magic sticks. He would send out agents to search for those who had particularly large organs and bring them to the palace in order that he might enjoy their vigor. Elagabalus would often seat pompous dinner guests on whoopee cushions that would let out a farting noise. When drunk guests fell asleep, he would have them moved into a room where they would wake up to find themselves surrounded by wild animals. Roman emperors often held lavish feasts where they would consume vast quantities of food and drink, and vomitoriums were installed for them to vomit so they could eat more. Emperor Nero had his own mother killed and ordered the execution of his first wife. In a disturbing display of violence, he kicked his second wife to death while she was pregnant. Later, he forcibly castrated a young boy who bore a striking resemblance to his deceased wife and went on to marry him. Had a group of dwarves dressed up as famous mythological characters who would then entertain him by reenacting famous battles and myths. Julius Caesar was once kidnapped by pirates when he was younger. They demanded a ransom of 20 talents. He laughed and told them that they did not know who they had captured and suggested 50 talents as a much more suitable sum. Once he was freed, he had all the pirates captured and crucified. Emperor Claudius's third wife, Valeria Messalina, was a nymphomaniac. According to ancient historians, she once competed with a prostitute to see who could have the most lovers in a night. Messalina had more lovers than Julius Caesar and had stab wounds. 